In this video, we're going to look at calculating the bend allowance. In a previous video, a separate lesson, we talked about using the circumference of the circle that describes the bend as a means of calculating the bend allowance. In this one, we're going to do things a little differently. Very close to the same idea, but slightly different. The main difference lies in how we describe that radius, that bend radius. Before we were using it to calculate the circumference of the circle and we started from the middle of the piece of metal. For this one, it's a little more accurate to, to describe the bend and the amount of metal we lose by not going quite to the middle of the bend. We're looking at 44.5% of the center point of the metal. So, we're going to do an example where we bend the metal 90 degrees. The metal is going to be 0.040 inches thick. The bend radius of the circle that describes that bend, so whether it's a tight or a very loose bend, the radius of that coming from 44.5% of the center, not from the center. That's going to be one inch, a one inch bend radius. And we use a different formula to calculate. In this one, rather than working with the circumference, we'll work with 0 0.0078 times the thickness of the metal. Then add to that 0 0.01745 times the bend radius. Once we add those two values together, so calculate this one, calculate that one, add them together, take that sum and multiply it by the bend angle of 90 degrees. So let's work through that. 0 0.0078 times the thickness of the metal, 0 0.040 inches, give you 0.000312 inches. And yes, we keep all of these digits because we're getting in some very small measures. Second part of the formula, 0 0.01745, times one inch, one inch being the bend radius. Calculate that, get 0 0.01745 inches. Add these two together, because they're in brackets, you have to add them first. Common problem I've seen, people multiply the 90 times this number, then add that. You don't do that, there's brackets around these, you have to calculate the brackets first. Add those two together, 0 0.017762 inches. Take that number, multiply it by 90, I get 0.159, excuse me, 1.59858, round it to three decimals, that five makes the eight into a nine, so it's 1.599 inches. In another lesson, we'd use the circumference formula, we calculated 1.602 as our bend allowance. 1.599, 1.602, pretty close to the same. This number is just a little bit more accurate because it's considering the radius starting at 44.5% of the thickness of the metal, not the center.